What are we about to do right now? We're going to look at why I think Dolly Parton was wrong for turning down the statue of herself. This is time for the monthly segment where we focus on good news instead of the world literally falling apart. I'm choosing this Dolly Parton subject because it's a bit more than just music. It actually represents a long-standing thing that's been going on in the United States. But before we do that, we have to do a comment shout out. I'm so used to D'Angelo sitting down that it surprised me that he has legs. I regret to inform you, it's not legs you're seeing. It's an extremely inflated visual effects budget. The Southern United States has a bit of an image problem, okay? For containing a bunch of people that are racist and backwards. However, if you live here, then you can also speak to the fact that there's a lot of good things about this of the United States. The reason we're talking about Dolly Parton is because, in my opinion, she represents everything that's truly great about the Southern United States. Before we get into this, let's get into today's sponsor, Drop, a rewards program that gives you points when you shop, game, or take surveys. I just downloaded the app, made an account, linked my card, it takes debit or credit, and then and bam, Drop keeps track of all my rewards automatically, seamlessly. One might even say it's frictionless. But more importantly, it's free. Drop gets paid by the brands, not by you. So literally all you get out of this is rewards. See here, I can find a deal really, really easily since Drop sends personalized recommendations from the hundreds of brands you can shop. Um, which is probably why I keep seeing Uber Eats. I get 50 points back on every dollar I was going to spend on food. And... I was honestly going to spend the dollar anyway. The rewards make me feel better. I may as well get them since I'm single-handedly keeping Uber Eats in business during this pandemic. So download Drop from the link in my description and use code D'Angelo when you sign up. Drop is giving everyone $10 worth of points once you get your first 1000 And I'm going to be honest with you, you can get that first 1000 pretty easily just by playing through one of the games on the Drop app. So go follow the link in my description and get Drop on Android or iOS today. And be sure to use code D'Angelo. Now let's get back to the video. So this story starts off with... Um, racism. <laughs> There's a statue in Tennessee of Nathan Bedward Forrest, a Ku Klux Klan member. Representative Jeremy Faison said the bust of Nathan Bedford Forrest, an addition installed at the Capitol in 1978, was part of history and should be left alone. Representative G.A. Hardaway asks Faison if he had ever read any of Forrest's own writings about his ideology. The East Tennessee Republican began the process of understanding what he describes as the pain of Forrest's legacy. So, the question remains, who exactly should they replace it with? People really wanted it to be Dolly Parton, and I'm going to be fully honest with with you so did i and as you can see twenty-five thousand people signed it in a strange twist of fate it worked tennessee legislature said okay you know what we will replace this statue with the statue of the one and only dolly parton but someone came between us and that and it was not someone who i expected it was dolly parton dolly parton said no with the heart emoji. I want to thank the Tennessee legislature for their consideration of a bill to erect a statue of me on the Capitol grounds, but I've asked the leaders of the state legislature to remove the bill from any and all consideration. Given all that is going on in the world, I don't think putting me on the pedestal is appropriate at this time. Who's going to tell her that she actually deserves it? Now, here's the crazy part. Clearly, this means that no one actually asks before putting up statues because I've never heard of this happening before. So the state put out a response. Faison, that guy, was like, he honors her wish for no statue and said that he has a replacement. There's an overlooked historical figure who would be a great statue replacement. And Dallas Dudley, suffragette, women's right activist, and, if we're being honest, style icon. It sounds like I'm making fun of the women's rights movement. It's just the accent, trust me. I'm allowed to do that. I live here. Since Dolly Parton won't hype herself up, I'm about to do it for her. We are going to look at the actual reason that people say Dolly Parton is so great. Many people depend on the Dollywood Company, which is the largest employer in the rural tourism dependent Sevier County and whose main attractions draw over 3 million visitors annually. It was popping off before COVID-19 started its world tour. Keeping people employed and paid is a particular priority for Barton, who continues to pay her band even though she hasn't toured since 2016 as well as her personal staffers during the pandemic. She literally said, alright, we're not going to give people COVID, but I still need to pay people. <laughs> She's had 25 number one singles on Billboard's Hot Country Songs chart and is also the only artist to have a top 20 hit on that chart in every decade from the 1960s to the 2010s. And you best believe we are going to give her 
her 2020s top 20 hit y'all are crazy if you think we're not about to stream dolly parton into her six seven eight nine uh zero ten seventh consecutive decade of being popular wait sixth sixth seventh yeah seventh then there are her numerous branding and licensing deals in march she reimagined nine to five as a birthday song and spent two days recording 800 names for personalized e-cards as part of a deal with american greetings which is also selling a line of parton themed cards at walmart she partnered with international licensing company img for a series of home goods and baked ware she really just said if there's money to be made then i'm going to be making it dolly parton used to have a ride in her dollywood amusement parks called the dixie stampede seeing as the term dixie is associated with the confederacy dolly parton was like wait maybe we shouldn't be making the civil war seem like it was great fun and fashionable maybe we can just rename it we'll just call it the stampede as soon as you realize that something is a problem you should fix it don't be dumb dolly parton said and apparently according to dolly parton you can just listen to people saying that and then change your behavior accordingly because your intentions are not to offend others that's crazy here i was thinking that was not a thing anymore billboard decided to ask her about black lives matter i understand people having to make themselves known and felt and seen and of course black lives matter do we think our little white behinds are the only ones that matter no she really just said black lives matter period now while i was googling that i actually saw this video right here look at that I looked at her quote in particular. It was so sassy and a sensitive comment about something that's got a, a lot of uh, friction in the air right now. This is Dolly Parton's impact. She literally highlights the good in the South. It's not all terrible. What else do you want? She's a talented singer. She's well known for her iconic looks. She's basically a cutthroat businesswoman, and yet she harms nobody. How about epidemiologist Queen? Did she do any research? No. What she did instead? was donate one million dollars to COVID-19 research. I am making a donation of one million dollars to Vanderbilt. Dolly Parton is really out here giving substantial amounts of money to extremely important causes. This amount of money that Dolly Parton donated was so substantial. It turned out to be the Moderna <laughs> COVID-19 vaccine. That's what came out of her one million dollars. A vaccine that is 95% effective. And on top of that, just so you guys know, she started this fund called the imagination library every month the nonprofit program mails a free book to more than a million children as of 2018 they passed 100 million of those free books by the way i can't deal with dolly parton and yet we're still about to watch a bunch of videos <laughs> first we are going to watch dolly parton answers the web's most searched questions hi i'm dolly parton and today i'll be doing the wired auto complete interview i don't google myself because i pretty much know what i'm up to and if i I don't know. All I gotta do is pick up a National Enquirer magazine. <laughs> yeah, right. She just said, I am the news. Is Dolly Parton married? Well, yes, I am married. I have been with my husband for 56 years. We dated for two years before we married. So That's we've been cute. together most of our lives. And we're still happy. Can you believe that? Deserved. And Dolly Parton yodel. I guess I can. Yodel. Everybody can do that one, right? No. <laughs> now there's this one. Dolly Parton watches fan covers. Walking to That's great. Her Did voice is crazy. No reason. Oh, wow. That's great. Ah. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, no, I can go. I can go on. I can. I can move forward in life now. This yeah, I can. I can die happy. I'm done. Take a fork in me. I'm Same. done. I'm completely floored. You go, girl. <laughs> is, she, is she watching me? She doesn't even believe it. That's so cool. Like, she's like, gosh, she's amazing. Anyway, my point has been made. Dolly Parton continues to be iconic, and literally nobody is surprised. All jokes aside, statues are designed to represent people that represent places very well. As somebody who lives in the southern United States, I could not think of a single person I want representing the place I'm from more than Dolly Parton. I guess if we've learned anything from this today, it's that all of 2021 could use a bit of Dollyizing, if you will. Anyway, I'll be here all week, folks, at 2 p.m central time if it's monday wednesday friday that means i'm uploading a new video here if it's tuesday thursday saturday that means i'm going live over on twitch so basically what i'm saying is i'll see you tomorrow unless of course tomorrow is sunday in which case um just watch this video again okay bye <laughs>